Hello, welcome. Uh, today I'll be showing you on how to use some tools on AutoCAD 27. Here I have on my screen list of tools. I have line, circle, rectangle, polyline, trim, extend, copy, rotate, erase, offset, move, and explode. Uh, the first thing you have to do whenever you open your AutoCAD 27 is you set your unit. You set your unit by going to your format, go to unit, change this precision from 4 decimal value to 3 decimal value, change this decimal degrees to degree minute and seconds, change this precision to the third one degree minute and seconds click on clockwise change this inches to meters change this direction to not okay okay now the first thing we have is line you can come to your command and input line enter you come to your interface and bring it in or you come to this icon here and click on your line icon and bring it out it's still the same thing that is that for line the next thing we have is circle this circle the next thing we have is rectangle this is rectangle. The next thing we have is polyline. Polyline. The differences between polyline and line is that for polyline, it will select your boundaries together. But for line, it will deselect it. You can deselect it. It will deselect your boundary this line this polyline this line you can see the difference that is that for line and polyline the next thing we have the next thing we have is trim The next thing we have is trim. This is our trim icon. You click on it. Uh, for you to be able to use your trim, you after clicking on the icon, you right click before you place this box on your image. Then you click on it, you select it, or you highlight what you want to trim and go to your trim icon then you click on it it's still the same thing that is that for trim the next thing is extend extend let's assume I want to extend this line to this place I'll come to my extend icon and click on it. Then I'll right click just like the way we did for the trim. And then I'll click on this line. It will extend. Or I will select where I want the line to extend to and click on my extend icon. Then I'll click on where I want it, where I want my line to extend to. That is that for extend. The next thing we have is copy. The next thing we have is copy. We have two type of copy. The first one is this. This one here. This is the first copy. 
the first thing you do is you select what you want to copy and click on the icon here then you come in and copy it to where you want it to be but the other copy is that you select what you want to copy and you right click and click on copy then you right click and click on paste that is the difference one support copy and paste but the other one we select it once and keep giving you what you want that is the difference between the two copy the next thing we have is rotate rotate let's assume i want to rotate this image on my screen i'll come to my rotate icon and click on it then i'll click on this on where i want it to be rotated to you can see i've rotated it that is that for rotate the next thing we have is erase let's assume i want to erase this drawing i'll select it and click on this icon erase or i select it and come into this command and press e enter that is that for you the next thing we have is offset offset let's assume i want to offset this line to nine meter offset i will select it and come to my offset icon i'll select it and come to my offset icon is requesting to put the distance I want it I want which is 9.0 meter then is requesting me to click on the side I want the offset to be is it below or above let's assume I want it to be below I'll click here but if I want it to be above I'll click up that is that for offset the next thing we have here is move move let's assume i want to move this image to somewhere else i'll just click on it and click move i'll move it move that is that for move the next thing we have is cable skill let's assume i want to scale this square this drawing to a big, bigger scale or a smaller scale i'll right click and click on scale then i'll click here is requesting to put it on my base point which is here then is requesting for scale factor if I want it to be a smaller scale, I'll use a smaller value. But if I want it to be a bigger scale, I'll use a bigger value. So let's assume I want it to be a smaller scale. I can just use like 0 0.2 meter. You can see it's now on a smaller scale. But if I want it to be on a bigger scale, I'll click on scale, click on my base point, and then use a bigger value. I see I have it here yeah, I have that is that for scale and the next thing we have is explode explode the work of explode is to deselect an object just like this object is selected is to get is together but if I should explode it it will deselect it let's see you can see it's not separated from each other that is work of explode uh, thank you very much on my next video i will be showing you how to use these tools for plotting surveying drawings thank you